Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous day, over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. A little bit windy here on this gorgeous, it is a Wednesday morning, December 15th, 2021, I believe, here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. So uh, I need to bring you my uh, weekly oilprice.com roundup where we check in with the uh, what's on the minds of the fossil fuel investors this week. Uh, before I do, just a short and sweet one because I absolutely love it. When we get the word doom and collapse in the same headline, I'm sure the other doomers are covering this already. This is the number one story on planet Earth today. And Yahoo News, the number one story on the planet where we get to mix up doom and uh, collapse. Oh boy, well let me find it. All right. Antarctica's Doomsday Glacier is facing threat of the imminent collapse, scientists warn. All right, a Doomsday Glacier collapsing. This is some true Doomer porn. An Antarctic glacier the size of Florida if I can, uh, my computer would stop eating it. An Antarctic glacier the size of Florida is on the verge of collapse. Scientists with the American Geophysical Union warned on Monday a nightmare scenario made worse by climate change that could, and here's the big word, eventually result in several feet of global sea level rise. <clears throat> the findings were based on the newest satellite imagery of the infamous Thwaites Glacier, which has been nicknamed the Doomsday Gla Glacier, showing a proliferation of cracks across its surface. This is Oregon State University glaciologist Aaron Pettit. Quote, the eastern ice shelf is likely to shatter into hundreds of icebergs. Suddenly, the whole thing would collapse. Close quote. Scientists have been monitoring the glacier the current melting of which contributes to roughly 4% of annual sea level rise for years. Its eastern portion abuts an underwater mountain and was thought to be more stable, but new satellite images revealed that fractures have developed that are allowing warming ocean waters to speed its disintegration. If the eastern portion of the glacier were to give way, it would hasten the collapse of the other portions. Pettit said, adding that the collapse of the eastern section could occur in the next three to five years, quote, like the shattering of your car's window as it is structured right now, the ice itself acts like a dam, but it's not going to for very long. Close quote. <clears throat> the chain reaction following the collapse of the eastern section of the glacier could threaten coastal residents around the world many of whom may be unprepared for a sudden spike in sea level, which has risen slowly <coughs> due to climate change since the dawn of the Industrial Revolu Revolution. <coughs> since 1880, rising global temperatures 
have resulted in eight to nine inches of sea level rise, though that rate of rise has seen a sharp uptick in recent decades. By 2100, NASA predicts climate change will cause seas to rise by two to six feet, largely because of the melting of ice in Antarctica and Greenland. <clears throat> the Thwaites Glacier has been melting due to a combination of warm air and water temperatures caused at least partly by climate change, making it more unstable. Between the 1980s and 2017, it lost 600 billion tons of ice. As the oceans continue to warm, the glacier is expected to become more unmoored to the land, increasing the risk of collapse. This is Ted Scambus, a glaciologist at the University of Colorado, quote, things are evolving really rapidly here. It is daunting. And now for the paragraph that Book Hermit is going to latch on to, you, you know, like a tick latching on to Sancho Banza. While it could take centuries for the full impact of a total collapse of the Thwaites Glacier to play out, the latest data from Antarctica is not giving scientists any reason for optimism. <clears throat> Quoting glaciologist Pettit, each new satellite image we get we see deeper and longer fractures. What we're, all, what we're seeing already is enough to be worried about. Thwaites is a kind of monster, close quote. So, uh, as Book Hermit will point out in, in, in the comments, and I am agreeing with Book Hermit, that by the time the collapse of the Thwaites Glacier becomes the number one or even the number ten thing uh, on your plate to worry about, uh, there will be a whole hell of a lot uh, other horsemen of the apocalypse way before the collapse of the Thwaites Glacier. Uh, it's just that the Thwaites Glacier collapse is just like sitting in the background for anybody uh, still alive on this planet uh, several centuries from now. Uh, it's just one more, you know, it, it's one more ingredient in the collapse stew. It's just all of these things. It, it, you know, trying to act like the collapse of the of the doomsday glacier is what is going to be the final straw. Uh, it might be the final final straw, but uh, at that point uh, we will have had enough final straws. But anyway, it's certainly a perfect example of a runaway uh, tipping point that uh, the, the, there's no stopping it. Uh, I mean, it's going to happen. The only question is how fast is it going to happen and who is still going to be alive on this planet to give a damn. <clears throat> But anyway, I just could not resist the number one story on the planet having the word doomsday and collapse in it. So with that out of the way, we're going to come back with our, uh, <clears throat> our weekly oilprice.com roundup to see what those, energy, those fossil fuel and energy investors have on their plate this week. Coming right up in one minute. 
No, we got to do another. That was not a long rant. We got to do our other one now. Bye, guys.